revenue in the first clinic is stagnating. So So now that your lower back is starting to actually feel better, you're probably wondering what should you be doing? Where should you go from here? And what is the next step for you? These are all great questions to ask. And this is actually a great problem to have because if you're feeling out of pain, if you're feeling less pain and less discomfort, that is a great thing. So don't go back to that, right? So what you really wanna start doing is start getting to the point where you're adapting to the situations. Enjoy the little moments where you're slowly progressing your fitness. As I said last episode, are you walking more? Are you doing some more upper body exercises? Are you doing other things like calf raises? Things to help build your whole body up. But at the same time, you're starting to feel more comfortable around the home and around the gym and doing other activities. This is a great thing. Here's the big butt here. But if you go too fast, as I mentioned in the last episode, you're gonna cause yourself a lot more problems. So enjoy the simple things, enjoy being able to do the dishes, enjoy being able to get out of bed with a lot less back pain, enjoy being able to do things around the house without causing a significant increase in pain and just stay here for a small duration of time. When I say small duration of time, I don't mean that you're going to be, you know, staying here for two months. I don't mean that you're not gonna be trying new things. I just mean for roughly one week, maybe 10 days, that you're gonna stick with this type of protocol and this program for a duration of time, trying not to get worse and trying to also see if you can get better while you improve. This is a big concept here and this is a big milestone. So if you go from, hey, let's just say a seven out of 10 pain and it hurts to walk and do a lot of activities, you can't do much to, hey, I'm actually doing all my daily activities, I'm engaging in rehab, I'm going back to the gym. That's a huge milestone. And now you wanna stay there and let your body adapt. Adaptation is a part of the healing process. If you don't give your body the chance to adapt, the chance to recover, and you start breaking it down faster than it can repair, well, that's called injury, right? So the whole point of this rehab and this discovery process while you go through this rehab is to get better and you need to give yourself that chance. You can try new activities, you can try new movements, that's fine, but with your rehab, you need to stick it through for another seven to 10 days, okay? Give yourself two weeks, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less depending on the severity of your injury, but at the same time, guys, this is a super critical part, critical part, where you can make that leap from here to here to here versus from here to here and then like stay in this small little area. You gotta be able to move forward and progress forward. This is a big part of your rehab cycle is essentially getting to the next level of fitness, okay? Enjoy the benefits where you are, adapt, get better, and do some more progressive exercises and one big thing here is if you are gonna go back to the gym and start lifting a little bit, don't go heavy. Do super light weights, even if it's your arms, don't get pulled out into a bad position. And also if you are doing stuff in the gym, make sure you're doing stuff like dumbbells or stuff like that. Do them seated. Do exercises seated so you don't put more compression onto your spine right now. Your spine is already going through it and if you feel it from day to day, like a little aches here and there, that's just a sign that you're getting better, but you're not yet ready to load up the spine aggressively. So do machines, do stuff that I mentioned before, and do stuff seated. So again, the big key here today is adaptation. Stay where you are, then move forward and progress gently. That is a big key here, okay? Enjoy, guys. Thank you again for watching this episode. I hope that this low back pain vlog has been really helpful for you. And I really hope that this has shed some light on rehab concepts and things that I look for and look forward to showing you. Again, you can progress here. You can increase your rehab capacity. You can do things, 
but at the same time, you also don't want to progress too fast, okay? So enjoy the small wins, enjoy the big wins, because this is how you're going to get back quickly versus the same person that we see week in, week out, suffering a chronic low back pain, but with acute exacerbations, meaning they keep having the same recurring back pain over and over and over because they don't take care of it in the first place. So don't be that person, get help, get treatment, treat yourself nicely. You deserve it. You deserve to get back and you will get back if you do the right things. See you guys.